Boy, have I found one for you today. 37 feet, nine inches, roughly 8,800 pounds dry with a funky fresh setup that I just fell in love with as soon as I walked in. If you like different, you like style, you like space, and you want a front living that's gonna rock, you're gonna love the all new Keystone Sprinter Limited 330 KBS. Hey, what's up, it's Chris Young. Let me tell you, I, I haven't had a chance to get into a lot of Keystone Sprinter limited travel trailers in a while, uh, but the, I am a huge fan. Uh, I just happen to live in an area where it's, it's hard for me to get to them. So when I get into one, I get excited because Keystone Sprinter is a fun line of travel trailers and fifth wheels. They do such a good job of creating these unique floor plans, taking the common floor plans and putting a spin on them or condensing fifth wheel floor plans into travel trailers like what we have right here with this 330 KBS. I am a fan of this beauty right here. I was sitting on the Thomas Payne, the Thomas Payne plush leatherette sofa, which Bobby, I know you don't like the light coming out of there, but check this out, man. Just step back, just step back, step back. Right here, Robin. This is where you could watch the sunrise, the sunset, or just have a beautiful backdrop behind your big head when you're parked and enjoying nature. You got large panoramic windows all the way around. You got end tables on both sides. Over here on the campsite, we do have some storage. Right up above, we got some frosted glass inlay, shaker style cabinets. Now this is the coastal cottage theme uh, or the coastal. They also have a urban decor which you can get inside the sprinters but beautiful solid wood construction frosted glass brush nickel fixtures blade air conditioning system the sprinter is going to have two acs in them this one happens to have a 15k here in the main living area and a 13.5 over in the uh bedroom which we'll get to here in a minute and a 35k btu furnace a graystone fireplace with roughly 5,000 btus of heat multi-flame settings multi-light settings plus you got your AM FM Furion command sound bar right here with HDMI, USB, plus it's dual zone, right below your entertainment TV on the swivel. So if you're sitting here on the pullout sleeper sofa, love seat, or if you're here in the Thomas Paine plush recliners surrounded by your large panoramic windows with the wood balances, powered seating, USB charging, massage, you can enjoy the entertainment. But then you say, Chris, this feels like it's a couple's coach. It is. This absolutely is. Sure, you could put two people right there and have them sleep, but this to me is what makes this a couple's coach. I got my little bar slash table high rise, high top located right here. I could fit a third person right here if I needed to, but my loved one and I could sit here, enjoy a meal. I got the window right there. I got the TV right there. If I need to get a hit of water, look at this solid surface countertop inlay with my farm, house, my farm style sink, stainless steel with the high rise faucet right here in front of the bar with this rustic decorative edging, dual USB charging. I got storage underneath. I could easily go from the bar to the sink, set my glass down, clean it, come over here to the coffee station. Another solid surface countertop, frosted glass inlay here, 110 outlet there. Plus I got the pull out drawer. And then when it's time to do some cooking, this is what I'm saying about being a couple's coach. Cause if you get too many people in here, this is where it gets crowded. I got my flush mounted three burner cooktop with the glass cover and the decorative backsplash, my hood, my flush mounted microwave, my 21 inch graystone oven underneath. I got the little pull-out drawer. I'd probably actually use that as a doggy door, to be honest with you, put the dog uh, food bowl and water bowl in there. And then the Dometic oversized fridge freezer combo, which does run on both gas or electric with the automatic switch. And of course, some pantry storage over here that does have the motion sensing light up top. Unique and cool not for everybody. That's kind of how I describe sprinters to people. 
right here, I got my Furion 15K BTU AC. I did have the quick cool dump open, which this is how loud it is when you have it open. That's what it sounds like when you have it closed. Pretty cool with the blade air conditioning system and with their ducting system that they have in the, you know, for the furnace. Blade does a good job distributing the air. The ducts have the tough lock joints, so they're a little bit sturdier. They're not gonna collapse on you. I got my little remote right here for my controls. Plus I got my command panel to run out my slides, my awning, check all my tanks and batteries and all this and more storage. Come on, man. You got it everywhere. You got it everywhere. But what's so cool about the Sprinter, and there's my HVAC controls right there. What's so cool about the Sprinter is the separation of space. I have my living quarters right here. I got a door that separates me from a true walkthrough bathroom, which, oh, by the way, is double vanity. <laughs> what, what, what? Stainless steel sink, matte black fixtures, dual medicine cabinets. You got outlets. You got storage. You got drawers. You got floors that are slip resistant, easy to clean, beautiful gray in this coastal cottage theme. They are absolutely gorgeous. And a neo angled shower with the glass enclosure. Skylight right there, high rise porcelain bowl with the foot flush and some good linen storage. But I, if, if you've seen any of my videos in the past, you know there's one thing about the RVs that I think, because I love my family, I love going and spending time with my family, but I love separation of space. You got pocket doors in that graphite black style. Hello. Oh, hey, bud. That separate you from the bathroom and the living area. And the master suite has its own access point to the outside. How cool is that? I got a barn style door for my wardrobe closet. I got a little door for the other closet storage shelves right there. I got a king size bed nestled in a slide with the padded headboard, some little railings around the side, frosted glass inlay in my storage compartments up top, and of course, strut supported storage underneath. And when I'm ready to wake up in the morning, take a look at the sunrise. If I don't see it in my end cap, I could sit right here because above my chest of drawers with tons of space and storage is another large panoramic window. The only thing I find odd about this one is the TV placement. What type of TV are you gonna mount right here? I guess I could run a cable and set one up here, but hey, man, I'm splitting hairs at this point. I got to tell you, for the way it's built, Keystone's quality and manufacturing, for the cool layout, I am a fan of different things. Funky Fresh. That, 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 I just like it. This is different. You're not going to see this in a lot of RVs, which is why I like the Sprinter. So we've seen the inside of this 330. What do you say we go take a look at the outside? So here we are on the outside of the all new Keystone Sprinter Limited 330 KBS. Let's start right up front. You got this fiberglass end cap molded with the automotive coating, the LED running lights, and right here is that privacy window that I was telling you about right above the sleeper sofa. Beautiful, aggressive profile, which is also aerodynamic. You got the mini diamond plated rock guard right down here, all sitting on this single welded I-beam frame, giving you really good support battery disconnect and your battery boxes right here. Twin 30 pound LP tanks plus powered tongue jack with LED light to help with setting up as well as help with uh, hitching up. Now I'm gonna talk about the Lippert ground control because that is leveling my friend. We'll talk about that once we get around to the other side, but this is a heated and enclosed underbelly, true fit slides, which really helps not only reduce components, moving the slides in and out, reduce that, reduce the stuff that can break, but gives you more seals plus it's insulated on the bottom of the slide now these are rated from zero to 100 degrees when it comes to, to the insulation so you can really do some three season camping inside your spinner limited solera awning right here with the adjustable pitch lci solid step above steps leading into the main entry point and you'll notice the top step a little bit bigger than the others plus it has the grip tape not only is that for additional safety and security it's also pet friendly 14 inch aluminum rims right here, nitro filled tires on those Dexter Easy Lube axles with the LCI road armor suspension. Just does a good job of absorbing the shock while going down the road. And you see my external speakers, marine grade and backlit. Plus they thump. Black tank flush right here. Mounts for your TV already set up on the outside. 
Got your spray port right there. Just don't spray that when you have this open because that's your GFCI outlet and your key TV multi-source connection, which key TV is just a way of combining all the entertainment connections into one spot and the ports are smart. So no matter whatever you have plugged in, they'll figure it out. Just looking at the bottom here, solid step leading into the master too. Usually, even with the luxury travel trailers, if there's two sets of steps, one arm are the steel fold out steps. So this is a nice addition to have. Four by four Suho storage on the back, spare tire mounted, plus solid ladder going over the top. Let's see if this is open. A little storage compartment right there, which is nice because it goes around. And Bobby, right over here, I know you saw it on the inside. You were smart enough to grab it. This one, the back storage compartment is set up for washer dryer prep. Magnetic anti-slam on everything all the way around. Set up for backup camera, plus those arch ceilings will help keep the rain and the snow off the top of this and the slides. 50 amp plug right there. Underneath Bobby are our terminations. Now this Sprinter 330 has an 81 gallon fresh tank, 102 gallon gray tank, and 34 gallon black tank. You talk about some big old tanks. You got them on this one. Another little finished off storage compartment right here, which if you noticed is underneath the master bed. So that little, those strut arms right there are what get the storage for the master bed. Only thing I like to see, cover the hinges. I don't wanna see rush streaks going down the side of my beautiful Sprinter. Other side over here of our tires, beautiful. Back of our furnace, back of the fridge. All of our external connections are right here, including the water connections. I don't have those open, I apologize. 10 amp quick connect for your solar panel, city water connection, fresh water connection. Uh, and the most important part of any RV is gonna be this info panel right here. As you can see, unloaded vehicle weight on this one, 8,900 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, 11,500 pounds. Now this unit is 37 feet, nine inches long. But if you like the different layouts, if you want something that as a couples coach, you can really enjoy not only you know inside, but having the space to move around and just something different but functional, I really think you're gonna like the Sprinter Limited line of travel trailers. And this 330 KBS with that King Suite and the walkthrough bathroom, hands down so far, one of my favorite floor plans that I've seen yet. But leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like about it, what you not like about it, because we love hearing from you. Uh, until then, I'm Chris Young for Camping World and Gander. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Hope you appreciated this Keystone Sprinter Limited as much as I did. And until I see you next time, please come check out a camper because they're fun.